Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13 The Show, and we have got another game coming out of the Atlanta Braves franchise. It is a cold and rainy day here at Coors Field as we're going to see the Rockies and Braves square off against each other, but this promises to be a good game as we're going to see Medlin on the mound for the Braves and De La Rosa on the mound for the Rockies here too. So I'm kind of excited, especially since in the game, both teams are doing pretty good. And in real life as well, both teams have been rocking. So we're going to go ahead and get the game started off here with BJ Upton up at the plate. De La Rosa likes to take his time with his delivery, but this one going into right center field. And we get to start off this game here with a great home run here by BJ Upton. Now, B.J. Upton has been struggling as of late, hovering around the 200 uh, batting average. So this, I'm hoping, is a sign of good things to come and a sign also of him really being able to turn things around. So that's, of course, going to give us the early one to nothing lead here over the Rockies and with the way that they are playing in this game and also every time I tune in to be able to watch the Rockies, I kind of know that I shouldn't be content with a lead this early in the game because stuff could change very, very quickly. But I'm going to go ahead and take that nonetheless. So next uh, play that we're going to be taking a look at here comes from Dan Ugla. Now, gosh, De La Rosa takes his time, and it makes it hard to commentate this. But anyway, just a little single out of Dan Ugla. And usually this is a type of play that I, I let go because nothing really comes from it. So... You know, I'm not going to go ahead and include it for time's sake. But for me, this actually is a pretty big highlight because, as I mentioned, B.J. Upton is struggling. Dan Ugla is struggling even more. His batting average is in the 180s right now. So uh, every time I can get a hit, that is huge. Angleton Simmons with a hit in the left field. So he's going to go ahead and get on first base. So with Angleton Simmons, who is my leadoff hitter, every time he does get on base, I'm looking to see if there's any opportunity for me to be able to steal a base. Now, with De La Rosa taking as long as he does for his delivery, I thought, hey, you know what? Why not give it a shot right here early on? And I am able to make it safely in a second. Now, De La Rosa obviously doesn't take as much time uh, when you know with his delivery when runners are on base. But still, there's a considerable amount of time. That stat that you just saw with the Braves having the most amount of steals in the National League is something that really motivated me to kind of change the way I've been playing this. But Johnson's going to go ahead and hit Andrelton Simmons over to third, and this is a good situation for me to be in because now with Justin Upton up at the plate here with just one out, I have the opportunity to do this. A high fly ball in the center field. It's not going to go over the wall, but it is going to allow Andrelton Simmons to tag up, come home, and the play, really not too close at all, but that's going to go ahead and expand our lead, and we're looking at a 2 to nothing score. So that one stolen base that I got allowed me to be able to get that run. So another example of aggressive base running being a key to success uh, with any team that you have. All right, so Jason Hayward now up the plate. This one, it's going to go into right field. Now, I mentioned with Angleton Simmons, I mean, he's the kind of player that I'm always looking to be able to steal a base with. Because of that stat, that window that I saw that said we are on top with stolen bases, I figure I need to be thinking that with absolutely everybody. So with Hayward, who has uh, a lot more speed than Angleton Simmons does, I'm going to be heading over for second. So he's in there, no problem, beating it by quite a large margin. So that's going to be two stolen bases on the day here for the Braves. Now, I could think about going over to third, but uh, I decided not to do it and play it safe. So Todd Helton up the plate now for the Rockies. Count is full, and McCann's calling a changeup. Low and outside to Helton, and that's way too far outside. So that is going to be a walk. And I always get mad whenever I walk somebody, and I don't know if it's just because I was spoiled in 2K and you know, was really good at pitching and didn't have to worry about, uh, you know, anything drifting out of the strike zone. But uh, he's going to be on first. Looks like De La Rosa is going to try to lay down the bunt. And I got a little too cocky right here because with Freeman, I throw it over to, to second base. I was trying to really make him pay for it and be the hero, but I messed up right there. And Fowler is going to get this hit in the right field. Wasn't going to be able to get the throw over to first. So we're looking at a bases loaded situation here for Medlin. So I'm hoping I can get out of this one. 
Trying to throw it low, of course, to see if I can get the double play. And that one gets past Johnson. So Justin Upton has to get that one. One run is going to come home for the Rockies. Close play over there at third. De La Rosa almost took too much of a lead. Or uh, almost rounded third and wasn't able to get back. All right, so Cargo up the plate. This one goes right back to Medlin. Gets it over to McCann. So we do get the out at home. Not able to get Cargo at first for a double play. But at the same time, we do prevent a run. We are still going to be able to have the lead here as long as we can get an out. So Tulo up at the plate. He's going to hit this one in a high uh, right field here. He's going to hit it high in the right field. <laughs> Hayward gets underneath it. Oh, my gosh. All right, so this is actually a cool game for me because I have a lot of fond memories of Coors Field. Like, the uh, last time that I went... It was actually to see the Rockies and the Braves play each other. So that's why this game was kind of cool for me to be able to do. Uh, I remember being able to see Chipper Jones like up close and everything. That was really cool. But uh, George W. Bush was there when he was president. So there was all this secret service everywhere. And the hotel we were staying at, uh, George W. Bush wasn't too far away. So we could see secret service snipers on top of some of the buildings around us. It was actually really cool. So whenever I play a game at Coors Field, just the, uh, the memory of being able to go there and to see all that crazy stuff just pops into my mind. But I don't know. I just thought I'd share that story with you. Oh, I'm surprised you swung at that one. Computer is usually better than that. But, hey, I'm going to throw something nasty every once in a while and see if they will go ahead. All right, so Medlin up at the plate here. And he's going to crush this one. I'm absolutely impressed with this hit. And that one is going to go over the wall. Kadire not going to be able to get there in time, but I mean, it goes over the wall as in a ground roll double, not a home run. But Angelton Simmons hitting this one down the left field line, so that's going to get Medlin over to third. So we have got Simmons at first, Medlin over at third, and now with Johnson coming up to the plate next, kind of an interesting situation. I could go ahead and hit a ground ball and we're looking at a double play or this De La Rosa with a terrible throw and he's going to be charged with the error. So that means Medlin will be able to come home and we're going to go ahead and see Angelton Simmons get over to second. That one bounced a few times. All right, Cargo yet again up at the plate. He's going to get a hit here for the Rockies. Now the Rockies have been somewhat consistent with the hits. Uh, we did have that one inning, of course, where the bases ended up, you know, being loaded, but that was completely my fault. But, you know, they've really been spacing it out, too. So, not necessarily the best for them, but potential opportunity for us to end the inning. That was a close call. But we get out of the inning, so it's okay. I, I'm not disappointed that Johnson ended up bobbling that one, so... Rockies going to the bullpen right here to see if they can slow down what I'm getting going here. But McCann with a hit in the left field. Now this is actually really impressive too because McCann, his numbers are kind of deceiving because the way that the computer sets up uh, their defensive positioning with McCann is very interesting. So whoever's playing second base will be in short right field. Center fielder is basically standing on second base. So anytime he gets a hit, it's cool. Ugla ends up watching ball number four. So some good observation skills right here. You know, I had a good eye just being able to determine, you know, that uh, we were going to be getting a lot of balls thrown our way. Kind of redeeming myself for that one I threw earlier. Again, Rocky's going to the bullpen. That was actually a very short stint. So is this an act of desperation? Is this something that it was planned? I guess we're going to have to find out now. All right. So... Medlin up at the plate, laying down the bunt. What a great bunt that one is as it goes right down the line. So that's going to get both of my runners here into scoring position. So McCann and Ugla on second and third. Angelton Simmons is going to hit this one high into center field. We're going to see if McCann can put on the wheels here and come home. And it looks like he will, no problem. So we get yet another run. We're really building a good lead right now. Four to one here in the top of the eighth. So Justin Upton 
Swinging at something that was terrible. That was just a bad at bat, but I'm safe at first. So we'll see if I can go ahead and kind of make up for the terrible at bat. So going to head over to second with him. That's going to be stolen base number three in the game here for the Braves as he is safe. Haven't had too many opportunities to be able to steal with Justin Upton. So kind of excited I was able to get one right here. Now, he's taking a pretty big lead. He's heading over for third, and he's safe there too. I can't remember the last time I actually stole third here in this game or even made the attempt to do so. But I figure with this kind of lead, why not? So Hayward with a little single, so that's going to bring Upton home. So it's safe to say, now that we've got um, four stolen bases, that two of my runs, though, have come because of this aggressive base running. So Rex Brothers now coming in for the Rockies. It seems like they're just continuing to bring in any pitcher that they can to see if they can reverse their fortune right now. So Hayward already with one stolen base on the day. He's going to head over for second. And he will be safe, so that will make the count for stolen bases five on the day. You know, until the Rockies can stop me, I'm going to be stealing all day long. It's been working for me throughout the entire game. I do not want to stop now. So you can imagine what's happening next. Heading over for third. That one was a ball, so a great one to go on. And I am safe over at third. Wow, a great performance here from Hayward, especially on the bag. Broken bat hit, but Freeman's going to get the job done here as Hayward comes home. Three runs because of aggressive base running now. So, besides that one home run that we've gotten earlier in the game, really everything that I've had has been off of some, some decent hits. All right. So, Medlin having a great performance. I don't feel like now is a good time for me to be able to pull him out because we've only had just that one bad inning. Uh-oh. We're looking at a hitting streak. I want to make sure I shut that down here. Strike two on that two-seam fastball. All right, so this puts me in a good position. I don't know what it is, but whenever the computer pops up, the so-and-so is on a however many game hitting streak. I'm like, oh, this is personal. Well, it's not really personal, but it just gives me more motivation to, you know, just pitch well, get as many outs as I can with just one particular batter for sure. I want that to end. All right, we're going to try the change up now. This one's going to fall inside, of course. Wow. That's another one I'm really surprised that the Rockies have swung at. But anyway, 2-2 two -two count now. Still got meddling in here in the bottom of the ninth. Too low. Ooh, not going to be there. All right. So we've got two outs now here in the ninth inning. Too low really hasn't been able to do too much in this game. Hasn't been able to get any hits or anything. So Josh Rutledge up now. Could be the last batter of the game. Got to go with the two-seamer, of course, right here to start things off. And that one's going to go into left field. Justin Upton will be able to turn around and make the catch in time. So that is the ball game. A great game for us in many respects, but really more than anything else that stands out is the base running. So we were stealing bases and we weren't stopping. So that was a lot of fun. Hopefully it was fun for you to be able to watch too. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. All I got to do is check the description below. But thanks again, everybody, for watching. I sure do appreciate it. And as always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.